Inglewood has suffered quite a bit of violence, and, and, uh, and I think it's a, or a result of the poverty here in the city. Walking the streets as often as I do, it really moves me to see the depths to which people have fallen to in order just to survive, and it, it burdens me. I want to reach them. My name is Kevin Young, and I'm the pastor of Victory Outreach Inglewood. When I was younger, we moved onto a street that was notorious for the drugs and the, and the violence. And I recall, as I was about nine or so, there were what sounded like firecrackers. I ran over to see what was taking place, and when I turned the corner, I saw a, a man just sitting on top of another man shooting him uh, repeatedly. That moment just seared itself into my memory. There came a time where I just I didn't trust the people I lived around. I didn't even trust the, uh, the police to, to make a difference there in our community. And so I moved away. In Christ, I found a, a here's a solution to, to what I was searching for and perhaps what my neighborhood needs, what my community needs. When I sensed the call of God to minister to people that are in darkness, I decided to move back to Inglewood and to live among the people that I would be ministering to. Education is a huge part of being transformed and redeemed. And to go to APU and to get a, a good, solid theological education, it's helped me to reflect on how I may be able to engage the suffering that I see. The things that we talked about and thought about, now I'm able to, to do, and that excites me. For God to put us in a situation where we're, we're being asked to, to provide some kind of a hope, to bring about a change in a situation that seems impossible for them to be renewed. The church has uh, been given the responsibility to engage the world because that's the mission of God. And, and being God's people, I believe we've been commissioned to go out, finding ways that we're able to release people back into a way of life that God intends for them to live, a life free from the oppression that brought them to a bondage in the first place. We provide a, a men's home where we invite men to come in uh, from uh, gangs, uh, drinking, if they have a substance abuse problem. All we really need is beans and rice and Jesus Christ, and that's all the spiritual food and the physical food that we need. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We help people through anger management, um, domestic violence. We train them in ways to you know, land a job. A simple thing. We also reach out to young people, uh, children. Uh, right now we have a uh, vacation Bible school. We started a martial arts class and to teach a little discipline. We feed the homeless and nothing thrills me more than to be able to help someone who's hungry or someone in need. Can I say a prayer for you real quick? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Keep him safe, Father God. Let him know that he's loved. That you have a plan for his life. And God, watch over him, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And hey, we have a place for you. If you ever need a place, call that number on the car. All right. There are people that come in um, who have spent most of their lives in prison, in and out of prison. And by the grace of God, that cycle's been broken. Um, cycles of, of drug addiction uh, broken. A cycle of, of gang violence are broken. And we're seeing families restored where there was hopelessness one day, all of a sudden God brings about a, an answer and a solution. And uh, it's a testimony that something's happening, that something's working. I feel that that's what we're called to do, to make that difference so that we see, that people see that you know, God is alive here. He hasn't forgotten about us. You know? and I feel fulfilled in doing what I'm, what I'm doing. And so I'm very happy about this.